You are beautiful. You are amazing. You are so intelligent and not to mention such a boss. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Kick Weight with Keisha. I'm just over here loving on myself and welcome back to episode two of Motivational Mondays. It's your girl Keisha and welcome back to my channel kick weight with Keisha if you're new to the channel make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button turn those notifications on give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment because that helps me out it helps out the YouTube algorithm you help me I help you we help each other so that's how that goes okay guys so this is episode two of motivational Mondays so let's get right to it so today we're gonna talk about how important it is for you to love yourself do you know how important that is? You know, that's one of the things, the key things that I had to learn because you can't let anybody love you more than what you love yourself. If you don't love you, then who will? You have to speak life into yourself and be thankful for what you have. You're living. So that's enough right there. You know, every day is a new day. So it's always a new beginning. Every day is what you make it. So you can always turn things around. But what is so important is the things that you speak to yourself. The words that you speak manifest up here and then it goes out throughout your body. So that's going to determine your actions. So let's start with the words that we speak. Start telling yourself how beautiful you are. Look yourself in the mirror. You know, and, and not only tell yourself, but start to believe it because you are. You are you. So you are unique. It's something about you. You have to understand that you're on this world for a purpose, for a reason. Now, right now, you may not know what that purpose is, and it may be hard for you to try to figure it out, that you just haven't gotten it all together right now, but it's okay. You know, you still have life to live. Every day, strive on improving yourself. Strive on building up your confidence. You know, push yourself to love yourself. Even if it may seem hard, even if you may feel like you're down, about this and that of what's going on, brush all that stuff off. It is okay because it's called life. Everybody goes through it. But if you start telling yourself that things are gonna be okay, you start putting those actions behind it, you start telling yourself that you love yourself, you start speaking things to yourself, how intelligent that you are, and all of the things that you are going to accomplish, and how you're going to put forth the effort every single day, you'll start to see a change. You'll start to see your whole life is going to brighten up. Now, one of the things that, you know, made me get counted down was my weight. You know, that was a thing that I had to start improving on to make me start feeling better about myself. It was eating up my confidence. Now, I would put on a front in front of the world that I was so secure and that I was this bubbly person with this great attitude and had all of the confidence in the world. But that wasn't my reality. When I got home and, you know, actually looked at myself in the mirror and looked at my body in the mirror, guys, that used to eat me up. Now, you know, although that I've lost 90 pounds and I'm still on my journey, it has built up my confidence. And I noticed that that was the thing. That was the thing that was eating me up, was me being overweight. So, and I've noticed that with a lot of my clients is that it actually caused depression when you're overweight with a lot of people. Now, some people, you know, you, you don't see it. Um, they just seem like they're just happy with their size. And, you know, I'm, and I'm not speaking to those people. I'm speaking to the people that are on a weight loss journey, they're struggling with their weight, you know, and a lot of the clients that I work with. They're depressed and the depression is coming from being overweight. One thing that I notice is that when I work with them and they start to lose that weight, you see their confidence come back in them. You see their eyes brighten back up and they are filled with life again. So that's the thing, guys. It's like you have to find out if you are down, if you are depressed, you have to figure out what is that root thing? What is it? You know, because if it have you feeling like that, then we need to figure it out and iron it out. 
you know, find out what it is and then figure out a solution for it. Figure out how we can turn that thing around. Because if it has you feeling like that, then it's something that it's, that's important to you. And we just need to work on it. You know, everybody is a work in progress and that's okay. You know, this is life like I keep on mentioning. Nothing is going to be perfect and we're going to take things day by day. Okay guys, so another thing that I want you to do is dress like you got somewhere to go. Put those heels on. I know that we've all been in the house and you know everything's been shut down but the world is opening back up. So put those heels on. I don't care if you just go into the grocery store. Put that makeup on. Get up and take that bonnet off and do your hair. Do your hair. Start putting on that makeup. Start feeling good about yourself because it helps me. It helped me out. So I know that it will help you guys out. It'll make you feel like you got somewhere to go. You got a purpose and you looking good while doing those things. So um, definitely do that. You know, when you lay around in night clothes all day long with the bonnet on your head and just, to me, when I have those type of clothes on, is either I'm ready to go to bed or either I feel like I'm moping. So let's get out of that mold. Let's turn the, your attitude around. Let's start thinking positive about everything. Let's start believing in yourself because you could do anything that you want to do. You are powerful. And you got this. If I can believe into you, I need you to believe into you. What I want to do is give you guys some homework. So we're going to figure out what is the problem and come up with a solution for it. Because I'm all about coming up with solutions, not harping on the problems. So one thing that I want you guys to do is to start journaling. Get you a journal. When you start feeling some type of way, Write down what was that trigger point, what was that thing that made you feel like that. Even if you just are feeling depressed or just down, write down your feelings. Write it all down. Because what we're going to do is that at the end of the day, you're going to read all of those things. You're going to read pretty much your day, how your day was laid out, how you were feeling, and all of that. So that way you can kind of look back on everything because sometimes when you do when you do certain things, you don't really realize what you're doing and you don't really notice it until things kind of spiral out of control. But yes, yeah, so that night, read out how your day went that day. You know, read out all of the emotions and all of the triggers that you had that day. Now on the next page, what I want you to do is to write down the things that you can control because we only want to focus on the controllable things. So whatever issue that you had, write down what's something that you could have done to control that. Whether it was to control a situation, whether it is was to control your feelings about something. What we're trying to do here is to get more control of our emotions and our actions and steer ourselves in the direction that we want to go into and not let things and other people steer us in those directions. Another thing that I want you guys to do is to write down your goals. Start writing down things that you can actually do right now and in the present. Write down different milestones. Not only write down your goals, but write down as far as how long is that you're going to give yourself to actually reach those goals. Because sometimes you can just have goals, speak about things, but it's just far out there in the future, put some time stamps on it. So that way you start working on it and actually start accomplishing these goals. Now sometimes when goals are large, break them down into bite-sized pieces and start hitting those, those goals at each individual marks. And that way uh, you'll eventually get to where you're trying to get to. So guys, it's all about working on ourselves. It's all about making yourself better. So focus on those things. Focus on the things that you know that you want for yourself, the things that you know that you need to change about yourself, because it's all about doing the internal work first. Don't beat yourself up because you're human. So just realize that, you know, stop putting so much pressure on yourself. Yes, put in the work, do what you have to do, but don't beat yourself up because you have to love you. And that's where it all starts because if you love you, then all other things will start to come together and you will see that, that your mind will be a whole lot more clear. So what I want you guys to do also is every night before bed, as well as first thing that you wake up in the morning, I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself. Tell yourself that you're beautiful. 
Tell yourself that you are intelligent and tell yourself that you're going to go out in this world and strive to accomplish all the goals and everything that you want out of life. You can do it, guys. So, you know, definitely let me know how everything goes. Let me know that if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Guys, you know, let me know if, if there's some things, some topics that you want me to kind of touch on for Motivational Mondays because it's all about motivating each other and just being a safe haven for each other. So make sure that you guys check out some of my previous YouTube videos. I definitely think that that would definitely help you out but also give you a little bit of insight when it comes to weight loss if you are on your weight loss journey. In the description below I will leave my other social media platforms because if you want to reach out to me on there that's fine as well. If you guys are looking for some workout gear, if you're looking for waist trainers, shapewear, anything of that nature, check out my website kickweightwithkeisha.com. You know everything is very good quality and um, I definitely know that you that's going to be something on there that you're going to love. I also have a Keto 101 for Beginners, a book. So if you want to check that out, if you're looking to kind of start keto, as far as with myself, I started keto and intermittent fasting. It took me six months to lose 90 pounds. I lost 40 pounds my very first month. So if you are on your weight loss journey, I think that that book would be able to help you out. And if you are unsure on what to cook on keto, I have a 40 ways to have keto recipe book. So all of those things, guys, I will put in the description below. But make sure that you all hit that subscribe button, turn those notifications on, Give me a thumbs up. You know, leave me that comment. I would greatly appreciate that from you guys. Thank you guys for watching Kick Wet with Keisha and following me on Motivational Mondays. Check me out every Monday, guys, around the same time. So let's make it a great day and learn to love yourself because it's so important.